Hey guys, welcome back to another Thunderbytronics video. I know it's been a while since my last video, but from now on I will try to upload more consistently. In this video, I will be restoring an iPhone 6s. Let's get started. After powering off the phone, I will remove the two pentalobe screws from the bottom of the device. Next, I will place the phone on a heat plate to soften the adhesive, making it easier to remove the screen. I will use my suction cup tool to lift up on the screen, making a gap for my pry tool. Now I will go around the edge of the screen, lifting up as I go. Next, I will remove the Phillips head screws holding down the bracket covering the display connectors. Now I can go ahead and disconnect the screen. Now I'll go ahead and disconnect the battery, which if you watch Toxic Digital, you would know it's pretty important. I probably should have disconnected it before I removed the screen, but oh well. Now it's time to move all the parts from the old display to the new one. I can start by removing the home button, making sure to be extra gentle as if damaged there would be no hope of returning Touch ID. I also need to transfer the display bracket as well as ear speaker, front facing camera, and proximity sensors. Now for the hardest part in my opinion, cramming this all back into the other screen without damaging anything. After many attempts, I was finally able to assemble it back to how it was on the old display. The screen is almost ready to go back on, but first I have to put back the display bracket. Now it's time to connect the new screen to the phone and see if everything still works. I probably should have checked before I spent 20 minutes transferring everything to the new display, but thankfully everything seems to be working fine. Now that I know the screen works, I can disconnect the battery again and secure down the display connectors with the bracket.
I will use some isopropyl alcohol to clean the residue adhesive left on the frame from the old screen. With the frame clean, I can add new adhesive. This is very hard to align properly and I ruined the first one, but thankfully I had another one on hand. With the adhesive applied, I can go ahead and seal down the phone, returning the pentalope screws to the proper places. And we are done. This phone looks almost brand new and ready to sell. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.